So today I have 10 great gardening gift ideas for you to get the gardener in your life. Now for the first item, I would suggest an Aero Garden. Aero Garden is an indoor inclusive gardening unit. Uh, there's many options available that you can do, but it sits on the counter. It has a um, light, it's self-contained with its water source. And so you don't have to do a lot other than open up the seed pods, put them in, turn the lights on, and watch them grow on your kitchen counter. Now for your second option, I would suggest gardening books. I can create a list for my son when he asks, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Father's Day? What do you want for your birthday? Um, I usually have a list available um, of books that I like to read. Some of the ones I have received in, a, in the past are um, a gardener's journal. This is one that you can keep notes on things that seed companies, you know, seeds that you plant, were they successful? Is it something that you want to plant again? Um, I've, I've received uh, books on growing roses. My desire to, to grow English roses in cold Wyoming is a strong desire of my books on water gardening, wildflowers, the list goes on with the possibilities. And one of the favorite books that I received in the past is a book on birds. Now since I mentioned a bird book, uh, with that bird book, one of the other things that you can do for a neighbor or even a family member is to buy a bird feeder. And when you buy a bird feeder, you also want to buy a small bag of bird seed. That way it helps them get started. But this is a very simple gift. Gift number four. I would suggest buying a gardening magazine, a subscription to a gardening magazine. Um, I have three or four that we have in our in our house. Um, some deal strictly with with um, flowers. Some are on on vegetables. Uh, one of the one of the all inclusive ones is called Mother Earth News. Um, it gives great homesteading, down to earth, back to basic hints, ideas of how to um, grow tomatoes, how to build a chicken coop. So there's there's options of everything on in Mother Earth News. And one of my favorite ones is actually a membership to the American Rose Society. And with that membership comes the American Rose magazine. And as with the issues that are are published throughout the year. Um, it's always wonderful to get the great advice and learn growing secrets and learn about exhibition shows and everything else about the rose. It's one of my favorite. So you can't go wrong in giving a subscription to a gardening magazine. Next on the list is growing supplies. Now almost every gardener starts a lot of their seeds, their flowers, um, early in the late winter months, early spring months. And more than just buying a bag of soil, sometimes you might want to buy some of the growing supplies, such as the growing lights, um, heat mats, um, some of the growing kits that are, are available. And this is something, maybe not for Christmas, but how romantic would that be for Valentine's Day? Every gardener wants a gift for Valentine's Day. Next on the list would be tools. Um, now I'm not talking about the shovels and the rakes and you know the big tools that would be hard to hide under the Christmas tree. I'm talking about some of the smaller specialty tools. And for every gardener, that's a little different. Something really simple would be a compost thermometer. Um, it measures the, the activation or the, the heat that you find in a compost pile to see if your compost pile is active or not. Another gardening gift of that tool that I have received is this auger. It's a bulb planter. Um, I use this to plant tulip bulbs, um, but it can also be used to plant four inch flowers. Um, it's really easy as you put it on onto your drill. Um, you just drill your hole and boom, you, you've got um, the hole to plant flowers and transplant those in in the spring. Next would be this miniature cobra weeder. And so this, this tool is, is really handy to 
as you're weeding in and around your flower bed. Now one tool that every gardener can't live without is a pruner. Um, I've got several um, and they come in different shapes, different sizes, and they each have a purpose. Um, but this is a Corona bypass pruner. I have a Felco 2 pruner. This is actually the pruner I received when I graduated college in, in horticulture. And so this is a little sentimental value to me. Now, one other specialty tool that my wife absolutely loves and insists that she always has, and if and you can see that it's it's worn, um, it's been out in the weather, um, but this is a must for every garden. And this is a gardening bench. Um, it acts as a seat, or if you turn it upside down, it can act as a kneeler. And so, and then you have handles that you can push yourself up on. This is a must. And with raised bed gardening, um, which we have, um, it's great when we're picking tomatoes and actually picking beans. Maybe your gardening friend has all the tools that they, they want, but do they have a garden organizer? This is a, this particular one um, is one that you can slip right over a five gallon bucket so they can work it and take it out into the garden with all of, all of the pockets that has all their tools. So you've got a place for your pruners, um, there's many of pockets on this organizer that will add to it. Plus then you have the openness of your five gallon bucket. If you don't want something like this, there are many, um, tool pouches and this is one, it might look like it's a, a gardening or excuse me, a regular toolbox that you might have a drill or, or some electric tools in there. Um, I actually have used this one um, with hand trowels and everything. So I have all my smaller handheld tools um, I can take out to the garden with me at one time. So then I'm not walking back to the shed each time I need something else. I, I can keep them all in one place. All right, on to the next. Probably one of the most important gardening gifts that you could give somebody is the gift of gloves. Now, yes, there might be a little personal choice in, in gloves, so you might see it um, a bit hard to, to choose from, especially when you get to a store and you see a display like this, and it's like, where do I begin? What do I choose from? Well, let me show you some of the, the different possibilities. Now, these small, simple gloves, they're actually my favorite gloves to use almost every time of the year. They're simple. I, um, they have a latex um, covering to it, but they can snag um, really easily. Um, so um, they can tear holes in, you know, especially if you're working with roses, they don't offer a lot of protection with roses. So I usually don't wear these with, with roses when I'm working on my roses. Um, I use a heavier glove for this, but the dexterity is really easy and simple. I can dig in the soil, um, I can work it, and and it gives me the, the protection that I need on my gloves. There's a novelty type of glove out there, and I got it this year. Um, and they came in late enough that I didn't have a chance to to use them like I thought I was going to. And they are a claw glove. Um, they have these hard plastic tips, fingertips to them that actually have claws to them. And so the idea on the gloves like this is that you can dig in the soil and using these, these tips as a um, cultivator to, to dig that hole and you're not going to get dirt underneath fingernails or, you know, it, it does that. However, I was a little skeptical and I think I'm going to, when I use these come spring, I'm going to reinforce them and add, add some extra glue to these fingertips. But they, they have a reinforced latex covering to the inner glove so it's a little thicker. 
um, but they still have very breathe breathable uh, backing and netting on this. And so this is this will be a fun glove for me to try this spring. Now, when working with roses, you want a good leather glove. This particular rose glove I got from the Royal Horticultural Society. It's called the Winter's Touch. It is a um, thinsulated or an insulated um, glove. It's deer skin. Um, it offers a protection for yourself um, because of the leather, um, reinforced leather. It gives you the protection against the rose thorns, but there the fingering on the gloves is really um, detailed. Um, it gives a tight, tight fit. And so you still can have some dexterity in your hands with these gloves. The selection of gloves is overwhelming sometimes. And so, but gloves is truly um, a gardener's best friend. Number nine on my list of Christmas gifts to give a gardening friend would be living plants. Now with living plants, there is so many possibilities. Now with the holidays, as you see behind me, We've got, I've got poinsettias, I've got reds, whites, I have pinks. Um, those are an easy one to, to pick up at, at the local greenhouse, uh, gardening store um, to where you, or the florist store to where you can give um, your neighbors poinsettias. Um, there's amaryllis bulbs, whether you get bulbs growing plants already, you can see that this one is already starting to send up its flower stock. Um, often you find kits like that. They're great to give teachers. Um, just something really simple. And then one of my favorites is orchids. Um, usually in some of the, you will find orchids. This is a Phalaenopsis, but it's, it's one of my favorite. I've had this particular Phalaenopsis for about six years. Um, that's why it has such a, a long um, arching branch to it and as you can see it's just started coming into bloom so with these all these blooms i will these blooms will probably stay viable in their beautiful shape for about another three months so this this will be fun to see this this will usually go all the way into past valentine's day and into march with this bloom so living plants would be a great possibility to give as a gift. Now for the num number 10 gift idea, I would suggest to get for your gardener that you're not quite sure what to do, and that would be a gift certificate. Now, gift certificates sometimes might seem like a cop-out. It's an easy way to go. Oh, I didn't know what to get you, so I got, a, got you a gift certificate. Well, I can guarantee that your gardening friend would be ecstatic to get a gift certificate to the local garden center um, where they can go and buy their own plants, even if it's four months away. But check with your local garden center about gift certificates. And So when purchasing a gift certificate, there's really nothing... Um, to think about and whether you go wrong or not, you, then you just have to decide how much you want to put on that gift certificate and how much you like your friends. All right, there you have it. Those are 10 great ideas of what you can get your gardening friends for the holiday. And as a bonus, I'm sharing a place that you can probably pick up most of the things that we've talked about. One of my favorite places to shop online is with a company called Gardener Supply Company. Their vast um, assortment um, will give you choices beyond measure of what you can get for a gardener. I'll leave that link down below. Hopefully you have found this top 10 list of ideas for your gardening friend um, helpful, beneficial, and that you also will take that time to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. I'm Gary with Successful Gardens, and remember, Merry Christmas, and let's get growing.